could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm so sorry that you guys continually see me in the exact same outfits. I just don't have any cute clothes besides two shirts that I can wear during the summer. So I just keep making new outfits out of them with different pants. Living a minimalist life on the cute clothes for sure. We have a problem because I've been working so much at the house that it's been a very uh, natural work related workout. We have a problem. These were always a little baggy on me, but these, this is just taking it to a whole new level. Like, these don't fit me anymore. Like, I can't wear these. <sighs> oh yeah, by the way, we're going to the flea market today. So this, this is just gonna have to do. So mom and I are off to the flea market. The Fredericksburg flea market is this weekend. Third weekend of every month, Fredericksburg has their Fredericksburg trade days. We go every month because I'm always looking for something a little different or something else for the house. Um, and there's a lot of salvage stuff there. I've got some doors and hardware and just, you know, smaller decor items. Um, so we love to just browse also. And I'm looking for one window so there was one window in the house where the fireplace is going to go that we took down that the window sash at the top was too small they had replaced or put a piece of wood at the top i don't necessarily have an immediate need for that window but if i could find another top sash for that window i could use it i'd like to build like a cute shop for me for my tools and stuff kind of in the backyard and I thought it would be pretty to have one window there because I have one. This is an extra window that we don't need for the main house. If we can find one, that would be great. Always looking for vanities. Still looking for vanities. The vanity that I kind of liked is probably still there. As long as it's there, the more he would discount it, hopefully. Uh, but it, I want to measure it again and see if it's going to work. I probably will remember a couple of more things that I'm kind of looking for on the way there. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. One stop before we go to the flea market, I called yesterday and ordered some more black paint and primer, like we did for the windows. If you haven't watched that video, you really should. That was a lot of fun. But we have a lot more windows to do, so I'm gonna pick up some paint. I need to pick up some paint that I ordered yesterday. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my hide. Even if the sky is falling down Yeah, there's really not a lot of people here Not on Friday morning But less than last Did I come last month? Did I miss last month? You missed last month Oh, no, month. no, 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 no I know, I was here last month the, I, meant the, the, I, missed, I missed the month before Oh, really? Yeah, I was here last month Show them our little Can VIP right here? Yeah He's saying go that way He's making me stop it is. Okay, I just couldn't tell because you had it backwards. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can just go ahead and park over here. Okay. Always doing something wrong here. <laughs> Why are we always doing something wrong? It's just me. We're either walking on the wrong side or driving in the wrong place or parking in the well, wrong spot. Why would spot? I show? Why would I flash <laughs> Mom showed him this side instead of this side. So mom and I have made a new routine for when we come to trade days. She had a like a little bear claw fritter, little pastry at one of the booths. At the same booth, they have unlimited iced tea and sweet tea. And I love me some sweet tea. So we are gonna get a fritter first and some tea. What are you doing? I'm looking for an ink pen because I forget what I buy. <laughs> that is true. No, we brought the cart. Are we bringing the cart first? Shoot, yeah, we're bringing that cart. You're gonna I'm not buy driving the cart. Mom goes, I'm not buying anything. I'm not even, I don't need anything. I'm not driving the cart. She's gonna fill up the cart, I promise. Yeah. Hi, Hi, ladies, how are y'all? Good. How can we help you? Can we have two fritters? Yes, ma'am. And two teas, please. Right. The best teas of the house, right? Yeah. So good. Shopping time. I'll do the dishes. Oh. Kind of mixing it up. We came in barn three first. 
<laughs> so we're going to the middle. This is where the vanity is. And yep, it's still there. This is the one I was looking at. Yeah, I think I started out this way and I looked at that. Thinking leaving this and then putting a piece of granite here and then the sink would sit in it. Similar, I guess, to this bowl, how that's shaped, but sitting further down. You can see the pipes here. It's a dry sink, or it used to be. It's priced four seventy-five, but he came down to three something, I think. This is a pretty little sugar creamer set. That's sweet. I need that. I see that in the kitchen. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I want that. He's trying to get rid of the glassware in the, his booth. He's trying to get out of the glassware business, so to speak, because he can't keep it clean. So it came down to three dollars for both. I'm like so excited. Those are so cute. I think I can see them in the kitchen. Found some windows, but I just measured this one and it's just not tall enough. Wide enough. Same profile. Oh. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Six dollars a piece. I always look at these trunks when we come because I just think the prettiest color palette. This is where we're gonna get the vintage tubs from. Love them. We're in the barn with the lost cow. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love these. <laughs> They're real pretty white. 65, 45, 65. This one's pretty. Look how deep it is. She always has the best stuff. Oh, always get so excited. Look at that old telephone. <laughs> Look at that. How pretty the vintage camera. It's sweet. <sighs> Ireland, it's from Ireland. Fourteen dollars, vintage iced tea or juice pitcher. So unique. How much is that? Fourteen. Set of five vintage bowls for seven dollars. Does I say three dollars? These are so expensive. Does I say three dollars? Look at this old phonograph cabinet. It's marked sixty-five bucks, which is a much better price for a vanity, but it's kind of pretty as a vanity. But this is like, you know, messed up. So we are crazy. And the top isn't flat. It's kind of ridged up, which is a problem. So it would have we'd have to like take off the top. See, I'm not something unique like that. The legs would be really pretty in the bathroom. You guys, forty dollars. We'll see. We're gonna get it there, I'll measure it. I don't know how much it's gonna hurt my heart to actually take the phonograph part off, but the view from the front of it is just too pretty to not have the piece to turn it into something. For 40 bucks we can do it, whatever, but like I have no use for it. The phonograph's not in it, it's just the cabinet. So we shall see, but it's very nice. That's kind of cool. How much is it? Oh, that's not bad. It's iron, no? Yeah, to take me a lot more oh yeah. The little puppy that? legs can jump up there. Oh, my I think my mom's obsession with bunnies has gone to an unhealthy level. I am in love. You do not. It looks like a chocolate Easter bunny, mom. Yes. It's on a piece of wood. Yes. It has a green bow. Yes. How much is he? He sold. <laughs> I'm so very sad. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh so you actually want like that. The name. two people in this world want that. I want it. Ooh, look, see, this one isn't even as pretty as the one that I got, and it's $60. Oh, this is mine. Ooh, look, see? I did get it $75. Oh, you got it. I did. Someone told me I didn't, but... I mean, ooh, wow, this one's pretty though. Look at this. Oh, it's like broken though. Uh, bookend? Oh. Oh, that's a bunny you don't want. No. Wow. 
Well, your grandmother can. She can tie it, man. Tie. Blast. You can't even. It's, it's so like, fun. <laughs> Red twall. I like that she color coats all of her stuff. <laughs> Makes it helpful. Here's the green section. And the lavender section, the pink section. Look at this old Polaroid. Slippers. This is a cute, cute. Ten dollars. Look at this. Mom just found a whole nother set of these. $40 for six dessert and six dinner. I can't believe you found them twice. That's ridiculous. That's unheard of. Gongs are red. Look, mom's finding all these gongs now. You guys let us know that they were gongs. They're cute. There's so many. I think, well, that's what they said. They were gongs. Little fall gongs. Oh, 50% off here. These are kind of cool. Even 50% off leather kind of pricey. Well, it would be $8 for only three of them. That's kind of a lot. I say a lot, but it's just thrifting language. You know what I mean? So we think because school started, there's no one, like, empty. We're like the only ones shopping. <laughs> right? Doesn't it feel like we're, we have the flea market to ourselves? So. That's the perfect time to come because you get great deals. You get great deals and you see everything first. You see everything. Well, really. not the chocolate. Oh my gosh. No one needs that chocolate money. Here's some Franks, Mom. Uh, one three dollars. Looks a little beat up though. So this is the booth with the floor lamp that I saw last month. There it is right there. I still love it. I'm in love with it. Totally and utterly. But it's two forty five. But the lady that has this booth is never here for me to like figure out if she's gonna come down lower that I think what did she how much did she take off last time? Like twenty dollars? I looked at it every month and I keep asking Does she know if it works? It does work. I'll meet her in the middle, one thirty five. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. It was just too expensive for me. And if it's not selling, you know, maybe they'll come down. So I made her an offer of 125. Would you take 125 for it? Because I can value that. I can fix it. I love that it's vintage. I obviously love the lamp. I know it's not for everyone, but I absolutely can see it in the house next to that couch. It's just incredible. So I got it. We're going to go back and pick it up and bring the car in to get the vanity. I'm kind of obsessed. I can see it. We just have to work on it. We're going to have to do a lot of work. What did you find? A spindle? Mm -hmm. One. Also, I found a little sweet bench, but I was so embarrassed because I spilled my tea all over it after I paid for it. I got it for, she wanted 35, but we got it for 25. I thought the legs were really pretty and that it would be pretty at my um, vanity to actually put my makeup on in the closet. Refinish these legs to be a color that I So we went to see Robert, which he's helped us so much with doors. See all the windows that he has? Because I was for sure, if anyone was gonna have windows my size, it was him. He, I was like, I, I need something specific. He always likes to find stuff for us. <laughs> I need something specific. I need 32 by 40. He goes, no. He goes, 40, you're, that's gonna be really hard to find. So I'm thinking maybe if I use that window, I can cut the jam down to the window that I actually have and then still use it maybe for like the outside shop or something. We can get creative and then we don't have to buy something if it's gonna be hard to find. What did you find over here? Oh, are the grapes? In my kitchen. The grapes? Hi. Uh, my kitchen. You guys look at all these weights. Four dollars each. We have them. All that we need. You guys, I'm not kidding you. There is no one. That's our car. There's no <laughs> <laughs> we literally it's stopped by ourselves. We realized that school had started and it's Friday. So, you know, that there's all of those factors. Oh, the this has never happened. We're the only ones. 
<laughs> it's just us with the vendors. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Who has a flea market all to themselves? We do. Look at this. Lee, <laughs> my lamp is home. Okay, and we made it back. I mean, it literally takes about an hour and a half just to drive through and pick up all your stuff. So we had some big things to pick up too. This may be the perfect vanity. I know it, what is it? A tele phonograph. Mm -hmm. And so the top opens and the top like kind of level is a little bit, you know, kind of beveled up or curved up. But you know, who's gonna use that? What, what do you do with something like that? You're not gonna probably have one of those in your life. So it would make, I love the shape of it, like on the front and how the legs come down. We just need to do a lot of work on it, repair the doors and get some new knobs because one of them is actually missing. And I don't really like these knobs per se, they're kind of insignificant, so we can work on it. But we would have to completely take this top kind of beveled part off and then put a countertop on top that's cut with the sink. But I measured it and it totally fits. It's just a matter of whether it'll hurt my heart taking that top off. But the only other thing that I can think it could be would be a vanity that you actually sit at and you could turn this into a mirror, but you can't actually sit at it. Your knees can't go under it. So that doesn't really make sense either. So this was 40 bucks. That's a great option for a vanity for the guest bathroom. Then, from the same lady, I got a steal on this. These are not cheap. If you find them, they're usually in the 50s to 80s range, but they actually get a lot bigger. This one was $3. Look how pretty she is. I thought she's so cute. She'd just be pretty in the kitchen. It is a little bit bohemian for what I want um, the house to be, but it's very contemporary. These are kind of really popular right now. So that was really, really nice. So I got that, three bucks. We were kind of having a wicker moment or, you know, a little bohemian moment. I found this little box, this little round box with a lid. Look how cute this is. This one was marked $4, but she gave it to us for three bucks because mom is the best haggler in the world. She's like, what's your best price? What? What's your best price? What's your best price? And people just give her things. I don't know how that happens. And then from the guy that we really saw first with the other vanity that I have been kind of thinking about for the guest bathroom that wasn't really perfect. I love this one much more. The shape of this is what I really wanted. But he did have this. <laughs> Look how pretty this set is. It's like a deep, deep chocolate brown. And I just thought it was so sweet for the cream and sugar. Look, I don't break it. Cream and sugar. I gave these to us both for three dollars, right? One's for two dollars. Yeah. So this one was two dollars. Mm -hmm. Because it has two handles. Okay. Well, two dollars. <laughs> two dollars for the two handle and one dollar for the one handle. He really didn't want to carry glassware anymore, mm -hmm. so he was just kind of like trying to get rid of it. So three bucks for that set. I felt like that would be so pretty in the kitchen. You know, I can't not buy anything from the lost cow. I love her booth so much. Her and her husband are so sweet. Mom's found lots of stuff there. because She's very like kind of Frenchy, a little bit shabby, but pieces of it is just, it's really beautiful. So she, mom actually saw these. It was a set of five vintage bowls. It had that same brown color. I got five of them, $7. This was kind of like a whole situation. <laughs> really pretty the, the floral pattern on them too they even had like some smaller detail here which was really pretty so got those seven dollars this light is in pretty rough shape actually I mean it needs major cleaning there's some rust on the glass this is all dirty that we need to work on it was marked 30 but she gave it to me for 20 bucks I feel like we could make this work I feel like this was pretty and we could totally make this work for either here in the main house or one of the guest cottages we just have to see if it works. She said if it, she didn't have a light bulb, so she said if it doesn't work, I can bring it back to her next month. I thought it was really pretty. So we'll try and see if that actually works when I get a light bulb. Next thing I got was this bench. It was, I was actually kind of into the color and the velvet too, until I paid her for it. She wanted 35 for it. We offered her 25 and she took it. I paid for it. I walked over to it to pick it up and I spilled my tea all over it. You can see it. Also spilled the tea all over myself, so I was super embarrassed, but at least I had already paid for it. Um, so I, I really like the legs. See the legs? But they're, the color is a little bit off, I feel like. Or they're a little bit glossy or a little bit messed up. I can't tell. 
So we may have to do some work on those two and then we can either clean or recover this completely and go from there. So 25 bucks, not bad. I saved the best for last because it's kind of like my favorite thing on earth and I know it's not for everybody. That's a good thing because it's just for me. <laughs> you guys, I looked at this layup. It's four layers. How many months, mom? Four months now. Four months. First time I saw this lamp, I was like, that's kind of interesting. Walked up to it, looked at the price tag. It said $245 and I was like, oh, absolutely. Literally, was like blown away. I was like, oh, absolutely not. Left it. The next month, walked up to it and I was like, hmm, very into that lamp. Looked at the price again because I didn't remember looking at it the first time. Again, I was like, oh, no way. Third time I asked about it and there was a girl sitting, there was never anybody in there. There was a girl sitting in there and she had to call the owner. She only came down to like 20 bucks. It was like 225 or something like that. And I was like, it was like still too high. I get that it's vintage, but it needs a lot of work. Will we see the potential in it? So this time, I was like, look, I'm the only one looking at this. I was like, I'll meet you somewhere in the middle. Look, how about 135? And she said, yes. This makes me so happy. So it's all in what you value. I'm definitely probably gonna have to rewire it fix the top, but like, you guys, I can't wait to work on it. This gives me like joy, so much joy. And look, each one has a little on and off pull. So that's all I got from the flea market. It was very hot today, but it was very empty. Mom got a few things, she didn't get too much. Some dishes, a bench, that big iron bench. 1930s crystal depression glass. What did you get? 1930s depression <laughs> plates. 12 of them from different vendors. I think. And six dessert plates. Yeah. Did I just insult you? I think I insulted her. Okay, not some dishes. She got 1930s depression glass. Clear. Clear depression glass. They are very pretty. She found a set of six at first. She got a set of six for 15, and then she found a lady with a set of six of the dinner plates and also the dessert plates. But you got all of those for 40, right? Right. So I hope you guys enjoy coming to the flea market with us. We always enjoy going every month. Uh, obviously, we have an annual parking pass that mom loves to flash backwards. <laughs> Um, but we found some good stuff. I mean, I found a whole room worth of stuff. I normally don't find this big of stuff either. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We're gonna go see what the puppies are doing with dad. Kinsley's getting a bath tomorrow by her grandmama. And a clipping. And a clipping. I want her shaved. She's too hot. I will oblige. <laughs> Anyways, we love you guys and we will see you next week. Don't forget to check out all of the renovation videos. Uh, we've been doing a lot, building, framing, pouring things, installing windows. Go check out my windows. And I will see you guys next week for another vlog. Bye guys. Oh, I need to get a cloth with tub too, a vintage one. But that has to, no, 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 no. I don't have anywhere to put it. Are you gonna say bye? Bye. <laughs> What if your sweetness could reach every